You like to think because you have not been laced but what the world says you should have, then you're alone. But somewhere in the text it says that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Somewhere it says that if you stay in the details, I'm going to give you what you're looking for. Huh? If you walk with me, I'll get you the right man. Don't have to do your own thing to get him. If you walk with me, I'll give you the right woman. Don't have to compromise your goals or your values to get somebody just to say, I got somebody. He's in the details of your life. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. And I guarantee if you trust in him, he's going to lay a table before you. Won't he lay a table? Yes, sir. Won't he prepare a feast? Yes, sir. You just got to know how to eat when the food comes. <laughs> Stop trying to do it your way. Uh -oh. My children, they, they, they acting crazy. I, I, I'm fighting them and I'm fighting the world. The Bible says train up a child in the way that he should go when he grow old. So the Bible is saying it's in the details. You just got to follow my instructions. Look at your life and put yourself in Exodus 26. I need you to wake up in the morning. Well, say a prayer well, to the Father. Well, Not a prayer of being selfish, but a prayer of, Lord, what will you have me to do for today for you? Yeah. I need you to walk taller than what you've been walking. Uh -huh. There's no way in the world a child of God should walk with his head down low. Oh. I need you to walk into the kingship that I've given you. Yeah. You are children of the high God, so therefore you need to walk like you somebody. It's in the details. If there are situations that present to you throughout the day and you know they are not wrong and you fail to speak up, you are not doing God's assignment. We are here because we are the salt of the earth. We add flavor to an otherwise dead place. And so you got to take your rightful position and say, you know what? I'm going to step in here because God has called me to step in. Everything in your life, well, every day when you wake up, God is designing you yeah. to follow his plan. I'm going to say this and then I'm done. Come on, Reverend. Come on. My son Jalen had game, got the game life. Well, and he said, look, I want y'all to play life with me. Mm. And I said, did you read the instructions? Yeah. And he said, yeah, I, I got this. Mm. So I come to the board. He got everybody's pieces laid out. Yeah. And I'm starting to play this game, and I'm saying to myself, something ain't right. Well, yeah. well. I said, Dad, are you sure you're right? Yeah, I'm right. you don't never trust me for anything, Dad. Why? Yeah. Well, because I know you. <laughs> and so he's saying, well, trust me. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and as we begin to play, we realize that he has just glossed over the details. Yeah. He wanted to play so bad that he thought that he had an idea well, of how to play the game. Come on now. But he missed all the details that help you play the game. Yeah. Yeah. When you accepted Christ well. <laughs> as your Lord and personal come Savior, on, on, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just jump in and start playing? Well. Or did you read the details? Well. Did you skip over scriptures that you thought had no relevance on, to your life? Yeah, yeah. Or did you read them to find out, Lord, what are you trying to tell me yeah. in this particular text? Come on now. <laughs> when it came time for prayer, mm. did you pray, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If yeah. I should die before yeah. I wake, yeah. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Mm. Amen. You was a child then. What's your prayer life now? Do you spend some time talking to the one that the details tell you to talk to? Uh -huh. 